Hey everybody, this is Chris at Zenark Reptiles. Thank you for joining me once again. Um, as you can see, we're in a truck. What I'm doing today is I'm gonna take you on a, a trip. Sorry for the little bumpiness of the bumpy road. I'm taking a trip of what stores I go to um, to buy my supplies for my rats, for my reptiles, and all the above. Um, I'm gonna show you what kind of pig food I use, um, what brands, I'm actually gonna show you pictures of them there. Also, I'm gonna answer some questions. People ask me what kind of um, vegetables are okay to buy for my rats. I'm gonna show you the ones that you can use all the time and some that you can use sometimes. Um, so stay tuned. Sorry for the bumpiness again, and we will be there. I'm gonna take you to a couple stores right after this. Welcome back. Before we get back to our road trip, I want to show you a package I got in. Um, I got a package from Grab Your Balls. And also, I'm going to give you an update on Sunny Day. Um, and then we'll go back to the road trip. So let's get started. All right, here we go. Um, so I got this package uh, from Grab Your Balls. Um, thank you for this. I will definitely get you a sticker and a shirt as soon as they come. Uh, a lot of people ask about sending fan mail and stuff like that. Um, my address is going to be in my Facebook page. I was hoping to have a uh, facility. I was going to give you guys my facility address and have you guys ship it there. Um, but it looks like I'm going to stay here at my house for a little bit longer. So my, if you guys are interested in sending me stuff, um, check out my Facebook page and it'll be right there. And here we go. Got some uh, sticker. I'll add it to my collection. Uh, I'll have to find a place to display all my collection of stickers. Also, I got a magnet and an amazing t shirt. Look at that, that's cool. I'm gonna go try that on in a second. And I'll give you that right there. This is a huge shout out for uh, Grab Your Balls. It actually fits really well. Thank you so much. Um, I do appreciate the shirt. Thank you. And I will be giving you one real soon when I get mine uh, in. So thank you. Definitely a shout out. Check them out. Um, like I, I showed you their information. And I'll put a link below how to get to them. Thank you so much. Sorry, it's super sunny out here. Um, I don't know if it's me personally, but I do like to give my animals as much sun as possible. Um, I always bring my sun, uh, in the sun when it's when I can, when it's possible. Uh, might be just my feeling, but I just feel like having natural sun is important. Um, us as humans, we don't get sun. We can actually get depressed. This is Sunny, you've seen her before. She's doing very well, she's getting bigger. Um, she's very happy. <laughs> and you can hear my pond back there. A little waterfall back there. Also guys, I do have stickers on the way. Um, if you guys wanna do a sticker trade or if you wanna buy one from me, um, I will have those for sale. Also, I will have t-shirts again. Um, the place that I ordered t-shirts from before closed uh, due to COVID. I don't know what happened. Um, I had an order in with them and they said it'd take a while. Um, finally, I just, I just last week I got my money refunded. They said they closed. So if you guys know a good place to have t-shirts made, because um, I've always done this place before, um, tell me, comment below. But um, I am looking for a new place to do t-shirts and I will have t-shirts again. And I will, I will do uh, t-shirt trades with other reptile breeders. Also, um, sticker trades. I'll also have stickers and uh, t-shirts for sale again. So uh, if you guys are interested, I'll have the information um, once I get them. Also, while we're driving here today, I'm gonna talk about some of the things that um, people have been asking me, why I've changed my format on my videos a little bit and why I've changed my format, period, uh, in my life. Um, well, this year I was, I was planning on leasing a building for a, uh, a breeding center and really go crazy on my ball pythons. Um, but COVID hit and it kind of crushed all those dreams um, just for time being. I'm not saying it's going to happen forever. Uh, COVID um, in Washington um, kind of went crazy at first and we kind of panicked and everything's uh, shut down. Here where I live now, we are in stage 1.5. Um, we probably in no time soon we're gonna come out of this stage. Um, Yakima County is one of the worst. Um, so they allow us to get our haircuts now and things like that, but nothing's open. And so 
for me to open up a reptile shop right now or you know a reptile place to actually breed and sell it's just kind of a dumb thing to do right now um i did have a place all lined up um but now i don't so i've been kind of changing my format because of that um, i don't know what the future holds for me breeding and selling at this point in time because i was selling most of my animals at a show or here locally um right now it's really hard to do just like my rat business it kind of took a, a big uh, dump this year i did um was able to sell all my hatchlings they're all spoken for um because i actually had a really small uh clutch this year compared to normal but um next year i don't know i haven't really used morph market yet to sell my snakes so um i'm not sure how good that's gonna do so next year i probably have to do that but as of right now i kind of slowed down my breeding aspirations just for the time being um by no means am i stopping but just trying to uh get a handle on what's going on here and see what's going to happen um with this covid thing all right first stop tractor supply and here we go we got a mask up here unfortunately everything every store in this county actually in washington right now you have to wear a mask so let me get this fixed let's get going hope i'm not too muffled i do have a mask on i do apologize i love this little store it's one of the best things that happened um here when it came it really saved me a lot of money so these are the pellets that i use um if during the winter time, you can actually get pellet stove pellets, but um, these ones I use year round. You can get them year round. And right here is the pine shavings that I use. They're really dry. They don't have too much dust in them. Um, they're very reasonable and uh, I, I do like them. I used to use Jim, the white shavings. Um, had a little too much uh, dust for my liking. So like I said, I went to the tractor supply and it's uh, done really good for me. I also buy my dog food here. I've had really good luck with this one right here. It's called Strive. Um, it's a high grade dog food and it's really good. I've been feeding it to my Doberman and she's doing really good on it. Okay. Um, this is Nature's Match Silent Pig. Nature's Match Silent Pig. Um, that's the one I used to use all the time. And if I can't get the other one, I use it. And it's on sale right now um, but I do use this one mostly it is producers pride healthy pellets I don't need them today but one bag of that will last me uh, at least a week if not longer I also buy black oil sunflower seeds for my African softwares they have them in three different sizes here they have this little small bag right here, which I usually don't buy. They have the 20 pound bag right here, which I buy sometimes. You can see over there, they have them in the big 40 pound bags. That's what I usually buy. Okay, uh, next stop is, it's called Ken, I'm sorry, it's called Grocery Outlet, Bargain Market. Um, it's right next to, uh, Tractor supply. Usually I go to Winco to get my vegetables, but since we're right here, we're gonna go here. And there it is. It's actually right next to tractor supply. Okay. I get one of these butternut squashes. Um, a lot of times they have the spring mix. I don't like the spinach and spring mix. I like the spring mix better. So I won't be getting that here too. It's right here, it's actually missing. These are for my tortoise. You absolutely love these. Cucumbers are great for rats. Um, you can get to them all the time. Um, asparagus is really good too. Also, broccoli. So that was kind of a bust, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> they usually have more vegetables than that. Um, right now, some stores have a hard time keeping the mess. Mess my beard all up. Sorry, guys. Um, they usually keep. They're having a hard time keeping vegetables in. But cucumbers work really good. 
Um, also, you can give them carrots, but carrots are like a treat. Um, I get 25 pound bags of carrots and I give each cage one carrot about once every week or every other week. Um, it's kind of like sugary for them. Um, same with sweet potatoes, um, but leafy green lettuce and cucumbers and asparagus they can have all the time. And where I live, um, we have local asparagus, so it's usually pretty cheap. Um, cucumbers are local. Um, we go lots of them here. Um, they're really cheap here too. Corn is cheap here too, but corn is not really uh, beneficial for them. Um, it can give it to them as a treat, but most food is actually a lot of corn, so you're really not giving them anything else special. Um, just a fresh corn, um, which on the cob, you know, which is we like. Um, but it's, it's, it's actually a treat, but it's not really going to do anything health-wise. Um, also for my berry, my sulcata, I love to pick up the, uh, they're the um, cactus leaves. They didn't have that there. They only have them cut up. I don't like them cut up. He likes to bite into them, so I didn't buy those. But those work really good for my tortoises. Um, but, and also they weren't, they didn't have the uh, spring mix. I do a lot of spring mix. Um, works really good for me. But anyways, guys, I hope that helps you out. Um, definitely, I know you guys are looking to see what I buy, um, how I do my daily stuff. Um, honestly, my wife usually does most of the shopping because um, I'm at work. But I wanted to show you some of the things that I buy that really helps me out um, with my animals and mainly my rats. With my... Uh, African softwares, like I said before, I use the black oil seeds. I also use bird seed. Um, make sure you don't have too much corn. Um, I usually try to find some that don't have corn, um, but if it has a little bit of corn, that's okay. Just barely. Um, it won't hurt them, but you definitely don't want a lot with a lot of corn. Also, um, I do buy millworms for them once in a while as a treat. They do love millworms. Put millworms in there, they go crazy. Um, they do like that little bit of protein. With African softwares though, you gotta be careful though. Once they get kind of chubby chubby, they don't wanna breed anymore. So uh, um, giving them protein is great, but one, you have to watch their weight too because if they get kind of chubby, I've noticed that they stop breeding, they kind of get lazy. Uh, unlike the uh, Norwegian rats, Norwegian rats breed no matter what. African softwares, they can get lazy and stop breeding. Uh, also later on, I'll do a video me going to Winco and getting uh, more vegetables because they have a lot better selection. I just go there um, when I go to the tractor supply because it's uh, right there. Um, but they usually have a lot more. Unfortunately, today they, they didn't. Anyways, guys, I hope that helps out. Uh, if you guys like this video, um, like going with me on a trip. Um, I, like I said, I had more planned this year of doing stuff like taking the shows and stuff, but that didn't work out because of uh, the COVID. But I hope you guys like this video. If you, if you guys wouldn't mind, check out some of these other videos right here. I go home and fix my beard now. Um, also, uh, subscribe. I'm getting close to a thousand subscribers. It really helps me out. Anyways, guys, I love you. Um, don't forget to keep on breeding and keep on going. Don't let anything distract you. And I will be buying reptiles from you very soon. See you next time. Love you. Bye.